This video has five parts to show you how to use themes to customize a site outside of the lists. First, we'll go over adding your own background, then custom characters, dark and colorful themes, themes that remove stuff, and at the end, I'll show you how to write your own theme to remove something. The themes and tools mentioned here are found under the video in the description and can be mixed together. Just remember only you can see the themes you've installed, but they will work on the forum, clubs, profiles, blogs, and anime and manga pages. First, you'll need to be using the Chrome or Firefox web browsers. You probably are already, but if you're not, I'll provide links to them below so you can install them. Once you're using one of those browsers, you'll need to install the extension Stylus. It's fast to install, and once you install it, notice it puts this icon on your toolbar. That's important for later if you want to remove any of the themes that you've installed. So here's how to use the custom background theme. With Stylus installed, go to the themes page and click the install button. That installs the default background. Now, while you can use your own backgrounds, and I'll show you how to do that soon, I do want to show you how to use some of the other default backgrounds and colors that come with the theme. To use other backgrounds, refresh the page and click the Customize Settings button. Click the bubble next to the background you want to try and then click the Update Style button. This will change the background on the site. For a different color instead of a background, click the bubble next to no image and then go to the background color box below and pick a color there. When you're done, click the update button and the color should be applied. Uploading a wallpaper to the site is simple. If you don't have a wallpaper already, you'll need to get one off Google or another site. I'll link some wallpaper sources below as well for you. Now, once you have the background you want to use downloaded, go to the custom background theme page and click on the customize button. Then click the bubble next to choose file. Click Choose File and select the new wallpaper that you want to use. And lastly, click the Update Style button and the background will be on the site. Adding custom characters to the sides is similar to adding backgrounds. Open my custom characters theme below and install the theme. By default, it'll add 02 and Sasuke to the sides of the site. You can choose your characters as well, but you need to download renders for them first. If you want to add other default characters that come with the theme, click the bubble next to the character name and then click the update button. If you want to leave one side blank, just click the bubble next to no one and update the theme. Now, if you want to move the characters to the right or to the left, add an amount here between probably 10 and negative 10 and then update the theme. You'll have to experiment to find the right amount. Setting your own custom character is also simple and similar to when we added our own background earlier. The first thing you want to do is Google the character or anime name plus render. This gives you graphics you can use on the sides. I searched here for K on render, but you can search for whatever you want. 
I also prefer to use Google Image, like here, um, because it gives me a wide variety of renders to choose from. Now, when you find renders you like, download them. Then go to the Custom Character Theme page and click the bubble next to Choose File and click the Choose File button. Then select the render you want to try out on that side. You can repeat this for the other side too. When you're done, click the Update Style button. If you don't see the Update Style button, refresh the page and try again. If you want to try a different render, just go again to the Choose File button and choose a new render and update the theme again. There's also dark layouts to install too. Um, they're very easy to install and mix well with the themes that I've already showed you in this video. The crayon layout will color the site and clean it up really well. And it's also compatible with the background and render themes that I showed you earlier. As you're mixing themes together, remember you can always turn them on or off with the icon in your toolbar. There's also themes for removing stuff on the site, and they're also linked below. For example, if you want to remove the big blue footer, all you have to do is install the theme for it, and it will be removed from the site. That's it. Lastly, I want to show you how you can make your own theme to remove stuff you don't want to see anymore on the site. It is complicated, but I'll try to make it as simple as possible. Now, when I was recording this video, my anime list had this annoying bar on every page, so I'll show you how I can remove that with a custom theme. Right click the page and choose Inspect Element or just Inspect. Then click the inspection tool we'll circle here and click the part of the web page you want to remove. This tool will give us the code to control the info bar so we can remove it. In the right side, you would right click the highlighted text and find and choose copy selector. Now with that copied, click on the stylus icon and choose to write your own theme as I do here. You need to paste that selector name we copied earlier into this box and put brackets after it. Any codes we put in between the opening and closing bracket can control that section now. For example, background color red lets me change it red. Now what we want to do to get rid of this section um, we're going to enter display none. By entering that, it should remove the info bar. If it didn't work, you may have gotten the wrong selector name and should try again um, or ask us for help to find the right one because it can be very tricky to find the correct selector a lot of times. Remember too that through this icon you can always remove themes by unchecking them or deleting them here. It's also possible to edit them in order to see the codes that they use for your own themes.